Hey guys, it's Catherine from Dryer Days Art Studio and I'm so excited today. I'm gonna bring you my new line of color cream paste for resin. They are beautiful. I'm gonna start from lightest, lightest to darkest and we're gonna kind of go, oh, let's see. I can't get this to focus on cream, but this is cream. I'm gonna go through each one and open them and show you the beautiful colors. And I always recommend that when you open these up, you mix them very well because sometimes they do settle and separate. So this is cream, beautiful off-white. Next, we're gonna move on to bubblegum pink. And as the name implies, it is really a true, true pink. Not quite a hot pink, but it's a beautiful color. Beautiful, more muted pinks. I love this dusty rose. I just think it's gorgeous. I'm sorry about my gloves. I just took all of these and opened them up and took pictures of them for the store. So that's why my gloves are a little bit messy. Okay, so this is pale pink. Again, a little bit more of a true pink, but lighter than that bubble gum. I'm gonna have a video coming where I use a lot of these pinks. I already put it up for my patrons. It was their October bonus content. And so they've already gotten to see it. So this is black cherry. I love this color. Look at how beautiful this is. This is rosy gold. So this is kind of like a warm pink, almost an orangey color. Beautiful. I am using my ring light for this, which is really bright and harsh. I tried to tone it down a little bit, but these might be coming across a little bit more vibrant just because the light is so bright. But these are fully opaque colors. They are for resin art. These are not to be used on their own. They will not dry like acrylic paint. This beauty here is sunburst. I really wanted a beautiful, gorgeous orange and I found it with sunburst here. This is mossy green. Again, a beautiful kind of more earthy green, almost with more of a gold warm base in there. Emerald City. Gorgeous emerald color, stunning. Now we're gonna move on to the blues. So I have this light baby blue. This is probably one of my favorites. Again, make sure you mix them really well because they will settle and separate a little bit, especially if they've been sitting on your shelf. Gorgeous color. I love this. I cannot wait to make a million ocean pieces with this color. The blue. Oh my goodness, look at this. So gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful blue. Okay, so I have two purples. I have this lavender dream. of amethyst, and this is a gorgeous, really dark violet color. Mocha Java. It wouldn't be me if I wasn't talking about coffee in here somewhere. Beautiful chocolatey shimmer again mix this up really well these little spoons are not the best for mixing i need a popsicle stick but see the beautiful color just gorgeous and we have dark steel and this is a beautiful gray almost like my gunmetal gray 
pigment, dry pigment in my store. Beautiful. Okay, so we have just a matte black. I'm gonna get into the mattes now. Just so opaque, deep, a true black. This is a true black matte. No shimmer, no metallic. Of course, if we're gonna have black, we're gonna have a white. So the white. This is an ocean pour, but I have used it in other pieces and it sells and it laces beautifully. It's opaque. It's a white, white, bright white. It's beautiful. Okay, then I got a gray mat. Again, you wanna mix the mats too, cause they can kind of separate a little bit. And then I have a beige mat. Okay, and then I got a light pink mat. Of a shabby pink not an overly done bright bright pink okay and now we have the metallics and then we will be done so let's start with the bronze and this bronze metallic so all of these are available in 50 milliliters or about 50 gram jars and um, I'm actually in some of my upcoming art boxes I'm gonna have little 30 gram or 30 30 milliliter samples of these so in the November box, you are gonna get a 30 milliliter jar of this beautiful bronze metallic. And again, these are the ones that are gonna float a little bit more on the top of your resin. So you get that gorgeous sheen of the metallic. This is gold metallic right here. delicious some of these I just want to I could just eat I won't please don't these are toxic do not ingest these uh, if you know I'm wearing gloves again if you get it on the skin I love using baby wipes I predominantly use these Pampers sensitive perfume free wipes um, to get the gloves really clean and to get any off the skin even this surface here like you can see I have a ring right here and if I just come in look at that look at how the baby wipes get it right up this was from here from the wall yeah might have to work some colors a little bit, but you saw how that just came like right up. So I swear by the baby wipes. Okay, I got this gorgeous, cool pink metallic. But this color is just fantastic. It's just beautiful. Oh, and I mean, look at that. I mean, it just, it looks like metal. It is so gorgeous. This is perfect for geodes and getting that natural, rocky, earthy look. I have a silver metallic. So guys, please head on over to dryerdaysartstudio.com to check out all of my new pigment paste. Again, there's 25, we've got four metallics, five mattes, and the rest are beautiful pearlescent colors. Get on over there, check them out. I'm so excited to bring these to you. I have been trying for a year and a half to get some pace going. They are finally here. I hope you guys love them. And until next time, everybody, keep on pouring.